Well folks, so welcome back. This is your host ID Jester. We are looking at The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I've actually been playing this quite a while uh, and then had to put it on hold to um, make a big move. So now that I'm all moved in my new place, I thought I would take some time and show you some episodes here of probably the best RPG role-playing game ever created. It's been pretty good. We're up um, about level 9 now. And uh, we just talked to Kira Metz there. She was uh, in a previous mission there. I talked to her and had some adventures with her. Came back to talk to her because if you look at her quest log here, uh, you can see up in the top right hand corner we're almost level 10. But I'm trying to get rid of all of the lower level ones and obviously a tower full of mice is the lowest level one we have everything else is about level 10 or higher so we're trying to uh, complete some of these missions so we can get a little bit more experience points hey here comes our horse get on him there you go alrighty we are Going down the road here. Whoa, watch it, cowboy. We have to go to this island. She wants us to go to this island. Uh, I think it's over here somewhere. So uh, that's what we're going to do. A bunch of enemies here. Level 9 drowners. Alright, um... Let's just get by these guys for right now. Alright. Whoa, what are you doing? Let's look at our mini map here, see how far away we are. Oh, we are a long ways away, huh? We should go to the boat then. Let's use the boat. I haven't used a boat yet, so let's... Let's go to a boat. And we'll explore as we're... Oh, guarded travel. Guarded treasure. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can sneak up on this baby and uh, make sure we got the right thing there. And Sliced her arm right off. Evil witch. Let's see what you got. What are you hiding? Some wine stones, some thread, some steel plate, silver, silk, crowns. That's all good for um, crafting. And we got a flawless emerald relic. Oh, that sounds like something that was pretty good. Took a little bit of health damage. There's a boat over there. Let's see if we can go find the boat, get on the boat. I've not used a boat yet, so this will be the first time ever. We're going to look at uh, a few things before we get going here, just so I can show you guys if you haven't played. Uh, whoa, 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 get on the boat. Can you get on the boat, please? There you go, thank you. Alright, so if you look at our uh, <coughs> quest log here, you can see Level 10, level 16, level 10, level 11, 24, 13, 24. We've got a bunch of different things here. Got some contracts, level 10. So we're trying to get a little bit more experience points before we hit some of these other ones. If we look at our world map, we are currently in an area that has lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of things to do. Um, it's kind of based on what you want to do and where you want to go, actually. So it is open world-ish. Um, if we get our inventory, see uh, we got a few different items here. Pretty good different items. Crossbow. We've got all kinds of different things going on. Actually, let's look at our inventory one more time. I want to look at something here. I wanted to see which... Um, keep going. There we go. 
trophy we are using. We are using the Cockatrice trophy, which is the mission I just completed before I started recording, which was very difficult, actually. It was only, I think they said a level 8, but man, that guy killed me a bunch of times. We've got some saddlebags, some horse, bind, some horse binders, um, all kinds of good stuff here. We actually, when we reach level 10, we can actually wear these boots, which would be nice. That'll be nice. Um, got some other trophies. Pretty much the same trophy there. Yep. Um, let's see what else we have. So yes, it's crossbow bolts armor we've got some glyphs we can put in you can actually add these into your weapons you can see that this steel weapon has two slots which are already put in some items there this one has three so um there we go now let's get on our yes we know thank you all right we're going to take the helm and off we go into the wild blue yonder Eat some bread while we're driving here. Do, 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 do. Find a way to get to Fike Island. Well, I think we can get to Fike Island by taking the boat. Do, 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 do. Okay, we can fast travel. It's good to know. Almost there. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait. This Xena box. Can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition. Wonderful. Mmm, kidoki. Do 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 do. Ooh, hit some waves here. It's getting a little rough outside. So yes, um, Kira Mitz there gave us a few items that we needed for our journey. One thing was this <coughs> little um, device that she can talk to us with, and another thing was a lamp. So, should we get off the boat and kill these guys? about we uh, save the game before we do that just to make sure okay get off the boat there you go jump there you go Let's see what oh there's something we can loot water essence steel ingot a diagram for a master crafted silver sword and a manuscript page enhance insectoid oil Oh, that was a good find. All right. Let's see what level this thing is before we go and fight it. Level six. I'm on the aisle yet. Does the Xenobox work? Can you hear me? What? I can't hear. Great broke already. It is an action combat system, which I absolutely love. It's so good. Get right out there! What the fricky frack? Oh my god, seriously, dude. Take a little bit of fire and like that, you son of a bitch. Alright. That was not good, by the way. Not good combat. Alright. Looks like we got a uh, little thing we can ingredients. Got the heat to get some of our health back. It looks like it's beautiful, absolutely wonderful game. God, I just can't say enough good things about this game. It is so good. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy this at home and be able to. Uh, like what we're doing here with it um, 
That's interesting. Do we have a little, uh. Oh, oh, drowners. Come on. Oh, see, I'm at the block. Block, you dumb fuck. I hate blocking. It just doesn't work as good as me attacking. Mm hmm. Yeah, we are a little bit over leveled for this area, but um, like I said, I just wanted to get back and uh, get a little bit of experience before we start doing some of these level 10 things. I've actually got uh, some skill points that I put into uh, some of our abilities. Level 10, there we go, excellent got uh, two skill points to use so it's a good time to look at the skill system shall we so we go over to the character page here see up at the top here um, we have combat which is red we have signs which is your magic powers in blue uh, alchemy is in green general is in yellow and then you have mutagens um, which are pretty cool because the way it works is you can see over here on the right hand side is where you activate and put your skills and then these mutagens if they're the same color as your skills will give them bonuses so you can see that this one here gives us an extra seven percent sign intensity on all the blue ones we happen to have all blue on this side uh, what we can do now is we actually have another side over here we're working on we can actually um, Got quite a few green ones you can see there, and so um, what I'm probably going to do is put the green one on that side, and see what we can get for this. Increased potion overdose threshold by five percent. Potion duration time is extra five. Oils applied to blades give an extra chance of poisoning. Uh, time is slowed further when aiming bombs. Every known level 1 alchemy formula increases maximum toxicity by 1. Potion duration time 5. And if the potion toxicity is above 0, time automatically slows when it is about to perform a counterattack. Hmm. They all sound so good. I'd like to get those bonuses from that. Uh, let's look at our mutagens again. What do we have here? Five, five. Red ones, we have five, five, five. Okay, but before we do anything, let's go into meditation. Nope, let's go into alchemy, sorry. Um, where is it? Um, hmm. No, where is it? There's a way to, um... Let's see. I kind of remember. <clears throat> Maybe it's in your... Oh, I know where it's at. I gotta get out of that. I actually have to go here. Right? Is that what I do? Nope, that's meditation. There's a way to take your, um mutagens and kind of combine them into one big one that's how this one over here is worth 150 vitality because I took these ones that were 50 and kind of combined three or four of them into one higher level mutagen I'd like to do the same thing with the red one but I'm trying to remember how to do that let's see if I nope 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 there's a way to I thought it was under alchemy. Ah, uh, yes, there it is under alchemy, but you need to have. Let's see. Uh, it's in here somewhere. Ooh, fiend detection. Increase the amount of weight the Witcher can carry without being overburdened. Increase the sign intensity during cloudy weather all kinds of different things you can see we've got 
bombs we can make. Um, what I'm looking for is here we are, green mutagens. Um, red mutagens. Lesser red mutagen. It says we only have one of three. What is. Sh sh let's look at that again. Oh, that's a werewolf mutagen, a lesser red mutagen, and a werewolf mutagen. Oh, I see. So two of them are werewolf. One is a lesser. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take the werewolf, put that over there, which gives our attack a bonus. You see the red line now linked over there. So our fast attack's damage is increased by 25%. So we've got a couple skill points we can use. Hmm, fast attack, strong attack. Deflect arrows by parrying. Uh, time zone an additional 15% while aiming the crossbow. And adrenaline point loss upon taking damage is lowered by 20%. That sounds like a uh, good one. Take that. And now we'll take another point into it. Hmm. Actually, I would like to have some green ones, too. I'm going to actually get this. There we go. Get some, uh, some potion things going on here. Because, obviously, the higher level ones, you get some super good things. Let's see here. We need points in this branch to unlock. We need eight. We got five. We have six. All right. So I'd like to unlock level two there. Oh, that would be nice. Okay, so we'll have to put our next couple points in. I use the fast attack a lot. Obviously, signs obviously are pretty good as well. Um, you can see I've got some fire stream in there and all kinds of so you can basically build your character however you want um, What I think I'm going to do now is actually take this better mutagen here This gives us next to 150 vitality. That's pretty good I'm gonna put that over There there we go And then we're gonna take our last skill put it there. So there we get a little bit bonus there. Increases our potion overdose threshold by 10%. So we can take we can take extra um, extra potions now. So that's good. Alright, so that's how the character system works. Pretty good. Pretty interesting. Pretty good. Alright, so now that we are level 10, we should be able to put on our new pair of boots as well. Uh, yes. Extra armor. Um... So you can see this is giving us a four three three four, and this is giving us a two 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 four two. All right, and now we can take one of our lesser glyph of Gwyn and get us an extra upgrade of that, or uh, this one we can only put in a sword. Uh, that one we can only put in a sword. And this will give us Igni Sign Intensity. Um, Igni is... Which one is Igni again? Igni is the fire. Yes, okay. Um, that's a good one. We use the fire one a lot. So lesser Griff of Igni. We're going to put that in our new boots. There we go. Excellent. So there, we're buffing up a little bit there. Okay, so there we go. Um, looks like we actually are not going in this little area here. Interesting enough. Um, this could just be an explorer type thing. We might want to just take a look and see if there's anything in here. Ooh, there's ingredients. 
mushrooms. Mm, and looks like we found a little chest down here as well. Uh, let's see if it's any good. It's actually a pretty good item. It's just not as good as the item I got right now. We'd lose an armor, but we get 25, 25, 35. This one gives us 15, 20, 30, and some resistance from damage from monsters. Plus, it's got the Agni side. It's a very good item. Unfortunately, we just have an item that is slightly, slightly better. All right, well that's a pretty good find just for exploring around. That's why this game is one of the best games, if not the best game ever created for RPG action combat adventure game. Oh, you think so, dude? Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes, that was slice him in half and take his brain. It's interesting, I was looking at these little boxes here by my feet there. I was just trying to figure out what these things are. Interesting. Alright, um, pick up all of our ingredients. We've got a shit ton of stuff if we go into our... Um, uh, let's see here. Alchemy. Here we are. We have a stuff we can be making here. What do we have? Blue, um, green, greater reds. You can see all the different upgrade to the mutagens. We need to get some more mutagens before we can upgrade them. Um, what do we have here? This is. We've already had this item. Okay. Dancing star. Fire explosion that can cause nearby opponents to start burning, destroy monster nests. Oh, this is our bombs. Ah, uh, yes. Um, just make a few of these bombs. Uh, all right. Grape shot. Sure, we'll take some of that as well. Because you start using some of these ingredients up, I think we're carrying around a bazillion of them. Fiend decoction. Alright, uh, we'll make one of these. I think you only have to make one of them ever. And then you like automatically um, regenerate them. Werewolf decoction, sounds good. Let's see what else we need. Might as well do that. See all these things we're making. We'll see how it says we've already had this item, we already had these items. It automatically will continue to make these items for us. So that was a whole bunch of new stuff we just picked up. If we go into our inventory, yep, we got all these potions we have. So we can apply for additional effects in combat, attack power versus humans, non humans. Uh, versus hybrids, some bombs, some more bombs, uh, increases the amount of weight, uh, sign intensity in cloudy weather, uh, running, sprinting, and jumping outside of combat does not use stamina, It's good, oops, uh, plus look at all these pages we found here, pages and books and stuff you can read, um, there's some of these are actually like maps. Yeah, so we can click on this map. It talks about the map. Uh, you can collect, collect these. You, some of these you can buy. There's all kinds of things to just spend lots and lots of time exploring around. Trying different things out. I always want to see and hear ghosts. Oh, that's the magic lamp that we got from Akira. Uh, bombs. Let's see. Let's put some more bombs out here. Sure, put those there. Um, what's this? A torch? Let's put that there. There we got our stuff filled up. Uh, this one we can put there now. Lots of cool things. 
Uh, it does have a nice little beastery area there. When you start fighting enemies, you learn about them and uh, tutorials, different characters. You can talk, figure out who everybody is, people you've met. I don't want to spoil too much of it, so um, we're just going to let that go for right now. Alrighty, so um, the other thing you need to do is save the game pretty regularly. I can't stress that enough. It's um, It doesn't hold your hand. If you, you can go to an area and get totally mauled by enemies. Alright, looks like we got some creatures up there. Uh, make sure we got our Igni going on here. Ah, seriously, dude. Alrighty, that's not too bad. I, I keep going to block um, and some of these buttons you use the same buttons to do different things like for example Witcher Sense you use the left trigger but you also use the left trigger in combat to block and so occasionally it can be a little oh it looks like we got some more dudes who are these guys eat some more bread here Let's see if we can take on just one of these guys at a time would be nice Rot Fiend. Nope, looks like he's bringing his brothers with him. Okay, get out of there. These guys explode and do... Oh, shit, get out of there. Okay. They do, like, damage to everybody around, so... Kill one of these guys. They could take out a whole group. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there! Get out of there! Aw, oh, see? I don't like that. That was a good one. That was a good one. Do some extra damage there. Get out of there. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, shit. They do more damage uh, exploding on me than they do in regular combat, so. But we got some nice goodies off of their bodies. We're going to run out of ingredients. So the biggest difference between uh, Witcher 2 and Witcher 3, one of the main differences is now, oh man, there's still a shitload of these guys. You can, whoa. I drank too much beer, I think. Come on, come on, you bastards. Uh, yeah. I got no health again. I mean, very little health. Um, better drink some more here. Alright, well, I'm going to bring this episode to a close of The Witcher, and uh, we'll be back next episode to see if we can uh, recover a little bit from these nasty dudes, and uh, see if we can uh, continue our journey. So, uh, better save it here, and uh, we'll see you guys next time here in Witcher 3. Thanks for watching.